Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. Hello and welcome to a new episode of Teaching English on Durus Ain, Mega Goal 3. Before we start, let's review our plan for our class today. First, we're going to introduce a new unit, Unit 3, Far and Away. Next, we're going to introduce the first part of this unit, which is listening, uh, uh, listen and discuss. After that, uh, we are going to answer some comprehensive questions, or comprehension questions. Next, we are going to review some new vocabulary from this uh, class or this lesson. Okay, as you know, last episode we finished Unit 2, uh, Crime Doesn't Pay. And today, inshallah, we are going to start a new unit, which is Far and Away. Unit 3, Far and Away. As you know, each unit in this uh, Mega Gold book has 13 sections and uh, all these units uh, in, the, in the book follow certain or regular pattern starts with listen and discuss pair work uh, until we reach number th 13 which is self-reflection so today inshallah we're going to start with the first two activities or first two parts or sections of this unit which is listen and discuss and pair work before we start our uh, listen today listen and discuss let's review the, the whole unit and what the, the content of this unit is. First, uh, we are going to start with the functions. What are the functions that we are going to study in this unit? First, we are going to talk about travel experiences and travel dreams. Khibarat, safar, and travel dreams, ambitions. Um, ambitions about dream, what, where, where our ambitions about travel. Where do you want to travel? What you prefer in your travel and so on. Next, also we are going to discuss the hotels uh, hotels and services. What are the services that are provided and, and that are given in hotels? Next, we're going to make uh, and decline special, how to make and decline sp uh, special requests. Okay, كيف ترفض وتوافق regarding requests. Okay, uh, in the grammar section, we are going to study adverbs of degree. Okay, and this will be take, uh, all the whole activities uh, will be taken in two weeks as, uh, as usual. Okay, and also we're going to talk about adverbs of degree, ad, uh, sentence adverbs that are describing the verb and describing, uh, sorry, describing the verb, yes, and describing adjective and adverbs themselves. Next, we are going to uh, talk about the future with, with be, going to, and will. What's the difference between using I'm going to study or I will study? Okay, so there, uh, there is a slight difference between them and we will study them, inshallah, in our next episode. Also, we're going to uh, uh, ask and answer some information questions. How to answer the information questions and how to ask the information questions. The last part of the grammar of this unit is how to use the present progressive. The present progressive, like talking about or describing actions that, uh, the, action, the actions that are happening at the moment. Like uh, saying, I am talking now, you are listening, you are watching, and so on. Okay, also there is a very important part of this unit, which is listening, and you're going to listen to uh, something called backing for a trip. How to get ready for a, a trip, and how to prepare your, your uh, backpack to get ready for a trip. Next, also there is a part which is always coming uh, as uh, activity number nine, which is pronunciation, okay, and how to stress compound nouns. Compound nouns, the two nouns that come together, like backpack, how to stress the word and how to uh, pronounce it correctly. Next, also, there is a very important part which is reading, also. You read about ecotourism. What is ecotourism? How to uh, take care of the world environment and so on. Okay, also, in the writing section, you're going to write uh, in, uh, a letter to your friend uh, telling them about a place, how to describe a place, and how to start your writing, how to divide your paragraphs, and, the, uh, and so on. Also, in the project part, you are going to uh, research and make a poster promoting uh, ecotourism in your country. So how to make it? This is what we will learn, inshallah, in our uh, classes, uh, in this unit, which is unit two, uh, uh, sorry, unit three, far and away. Okay, our class today is activity number one, which is listen and discuss. We're going to read and listen to four uh, reading passages. Okay, they are about hotels. Before we start, let's ask some questions. Now think of, uh, but 
in between you and yourself or with, with a, uh, a member of your family or with a friend if you are watching me right now with him and think of five things you expect a hotel to have if you want to go and to be in a hotel what are the things that you need to to have when you go to that hotel think of them and decide what are the things now you will see something about uh, unusual hotels that are st very strange and you have never seen maybe like these hotels. What are they? You will see now. Uh, share with each other how each hotel is different from what you, ex what, uh, you expected. Okay? And also today, now, you're going to listen to a saying or quote from uh, a lady called Miriam Bird Vacts talking about the impact of travel or the importance of travel. You think travel is, is important? Personally, yes, I think it is very important and it is very useful. How useful it is? Listen to what Miriam says about it and decide if you agree with her or if you disagree. Unit 3, Far and Away, pages 34 and 35. 1. Listen and discuss. Certainly, travel is more than the seeing of sights. It is a change that goes on deep and permanent in the ideas of living. Miriam Beard Vogts. So, traveling is very important, according to uh, Miriam, and I think most of us uh, agree with her that the impact of traveling will go to, uh, to your knowledge and also to, to go to a change that goes on and deep and permanent in the ideas of living. In the idea of living in general, uh, it is very useful. Now, look at these four pictures and think of what the passages, or the four passages are about. You're going to hear and uh, listen and, and uh, read about four unusual hotels. What are uh, the, the, uh, these hotels? Look at number one, this is number two, number three, number four, okay? And which hotel do you think you, 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 you would like to stay and why? You prefer w which one of these? Okay, what's the difference between them? Look here, what can you see here? Do you think to have this view, view when you are uh, in your room sitting in a hotel? You can see fish like this? You want to see that? Maybe. You we are going to read and listen to one of these passages uh, talking about a room in a hotel which has this very nice view. Okay, the next here, number two, this is called capsule. Okay, capsule, this is, these are rooms are uh, provided in Tokyo, in Japan. Okay, if you, if you want to have a hotel uh, inexpensive, which is not expensive, cheap, but cheap uh, hotel, you can uh, rent or you can uh, get this uh, kind of accommodation, which is a, called uh, a capsule. And here, uh, there is a, a tree house. Okay, you can see here a tree house. You can be in, uh, in a forest, a uh, rainforest, very high from uh, the, the, the trees, maybe 22 meters uh, high, uh, having a room and enjoying the nice view of the forest. And here, you, there is another passage also about igloos. What are igloos? This is an igloo here, you can see it. And you can stay in a very cold uh, area. Uh, you can have snow igloo and you can have also glass igloo. Which one you prefer? Which one you like? Which one of these four you like? Do you like this called uh, Jules uh, Undersea Lo uh, Lodge, Florida, USA? And this is called uh, Capsule Hotels throughout Japan. Or you prefer uh, Arrow, Amazon Towers Hotel, uh, Manus in Brazil, and or you prefer uh, Kaklustanin Hotel in uh, Lapland in Finland. Which one of these four you like or you prefer? Now you read and listen at the same time to uh, the first one, which is called uh, Jules Unders uh, Undersea Lodge, Florida, USA. Read and listen at the same time. And after that, you're going to uh, answer some comprehension question. Listen. Jules Undersea Lodge, Florida, USA. Undoubtedly, most people have never been to a hotel like Jules Undersea Lodge before. This extremely unusual hotel, 
located in Key Largo, Florida, is on the ocean floor. Guests scuba dive to the hotel's one unit, which is over 19 feet, 6 meters below the surface. The unit includes two bedrooms, a television, and a 50-inch, 107-centimeter circular window that offers views of passing sea life. Okay. So do you prefer to stay in this hotel or you will wait for the other three hotels uh, or the other three options of staying in these hotels? I think this is uh, one of the, the, of the best because it is very uh, wonderful. It is wonderful. It is amazing that you can see through the window, you can see the, the real life of fish. And personally, I like to stay in this one. What about you? Okay. Now let's go to the other one. The other one is capsules uh, like, like these things. It is found in Japan. Okay, do you want to try the, these, uh, or this hotel, or this room? Just listen and read and decide after reading. Capsule hotels throughout Japan. In recent years, capsule hotels have gained widespread popularity in Japan. Capsule hotels are hotels in which guests stay in a small sleeping space that is just big enough for a bed. There is so little room that some people can scarcely sit up in these capsules. However, in expensive cities, capsule hotels offer a relatively inexpensive alternative to more traditional hotels. Okay, so usually uh, uh, traditional hotels are expensive. But this one is described as inexpensive. You see, expensive, everybody knows that expensive means uh, the opposite of cheap, but inexpensive also the opposite of expensive. Okay, now we are coming to the third one, which is a, a tree house. And uh, it is uh, the second thing, in my opinion. Uh, I like it very much because I can stay in a rainforest and I can watch t trees and I can watch animals and uh, I will leave also the rainforest, uh, the rainforest, uh, the rainforest uh, undisturbed. So this is one of my favorite. So what about you? Listen and read and decide which one you prefer. Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel, Manaus, Brazil. Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel in Manaus, Brazil is the world's largest commercial treehouse. Amazingly, Ariao's towers are built at the level of the rainforest treetops, about 72 feet, 22 meters in the air. The towers are linked together by four miles, six kilometers of wooden catwalks. This very unusual setting gives guests the unique opportunity to experience the plant and animal life of the rainforest canopy while leaving the rainforest's ecosystem undisturbed. Okay, so it is one of the best, I think, and it is a very nice one, and I think you agree with me. Now, uh, the last one is the igloos. What about igloos here? Do you like to stay here? It is very cold, it is chilly, and, and I think uh, you need to try it. Okay, listen and uh, try to understand what this uh, igloo, uh, if, if the igloo is, is suitable for you or not. Okay. The Coxlautenen Hotel, Lapland, Finland. In the heart of Finnish Lapland, 155 miles, 250 kilometers, north of the Arctic Circle, lies a truly magical place. The Coxlautenen Hotel offers guests the opportunity to stay overnight in either a snow or glass igloo. Those who choose the glass igloos can enjoy the night skies and the stunning northern lights from the comfort of their own bed. Luckily, the hotel provides cozy, extra warm sleeping bags for the guests who choose to sleep in snow igloos. Okay, so the most important thing, thing is uh, the sleeping bags, warm sleeping bags, and you need uh, a, a, a as it is described here, uh, cozy. Cozy, what's the meaning of cozy? It means warm, dafi. Okay? And uh, now, let's find some of the words that, uh, let's, let's find out some of the words that appeared in these uh, four articles. Number one, you will find it in Julius Undersea Lodge. 
This word means round. Do you still remember? You have your book now, and you can check which one, uh, which, what's the, the word that means round? Describing the window, if you can find it. It is circular. When we describe the window, the big window, he has described it as circular, means the area. Okay? Next. This word appeared in uh, capsule hotels. What is this word? It is uh, another choice or option. If you want to talk option, khayar. What is it? It is alternative. Okay, alternative. You find it there in uh, the capsule hotels. Hotels. Okay, uh, are you Amazon Tower Hotel? This word is connect. What is the, me what, what is the word that means uh, connect in this passage? It is link. Okay, another word which means uh, the, the tops of the trees in a forest. If, if, if the forest makes uh, uh, branches going together, we call it canopy. Yes, we call it a canopy. Now, another, uh, another word which is uh, found in another hotel, which is a Kaklutanian hotel. What is it? It's comfortable and warm. What is, what is the word that means comfortable and warm? It is cozy. Okay, if you are there in an igloo, you need to get a cozy place or a cozy uh, room. Okay, and the last word is extremely beautiful. If you are, want to describe something as extremely beautiful, how do you say it? Stunning. Okay, so stunning is this, uh, the, the room, uh, the, the igloo was described as stunning. Okay, stunning, what does stunning, uh, stunning mean? It means ex extremely beautiful. Okay, now let's answer some comprehension questions uh, if you, uh, to check if you understand these four messages or not. Number one, which hotel is a tree house? Which one is a tree house? One of these four, okay? It is Ario Amazon Tower Hotel. That's right. Next, the other question, you can read it now. Yes, which hotel have very small rooms? Very small rooms, which one? It is called capsule hotels. The capsule hotels that has only one bed. Okay, uh, which hotel has rooms made of snow? The, these rooms are made of snow. What are they? The Cactonin Hotel. Okay, it, it's made of snow and sometimes it's made of glass. Next, which hotel do you have to uh, to scuba dive to get to? If you want to get to, to your to your room, you need to go. Uh, scuba diving. Okay, so this is uh, called Jules Under Sea Lodge. Okay. Next, which hotel are not very expensive? It was described inexpensive. Which one? Yes, capsule hotels that is uh, found in Japan. Now you are going to uh, answer some questions. Okay, or an exercise. This exercise is found on page uh, 35. Exercise A. You need to get these uh, words, as you can see here, commercial, relatively uh, undisturbed, ecosystem, surface, and widespread. Okay, you need to fill in the, the spaces using these six words. You need to read this story. The man is uh, talking about uh, his plan to, to make uh, or to open an, an, a new uh, hotel and he is uh, working on uh, some ideas and some amb um, um, ambitious ideas to make this hotel. So let's read it together and answer these questions uh, to, to fill in these spaces. Number one, I live in a beautiful area of Panama that is very popular with tourists. In the last few years, he's talking about himself, in the last few years, there has been development of large impersonal hotel. So here, it is very clear that the word, or the missing word here, is an adjective. So uh, this is one of the tricks that you need to learn how to fill uh, in uh, the spaces in this kind of questions. So the, the word is widespread. So widespread is, uh, is an adjective which describes uh, development. Next, lately I have been thinking about opening a small friendly hotel. It would be what? Close to the, to the center of the town, but far enough away that the guests would be what? The first space is uh, relatively, and the second one is undisturbed, okay? How do you use this undisturbed? 
This is an adjective and relatively is an adverb. By the noise and traffic, it, it is going to be away from uh, traffic so that uh, it will not disturb the residents of this hotel. Next, I'd like my hotel to have a view of the water. There is nothing like better like there, there is nothing I like better than to watch the sun reflect of the what on the lake. Yes, that is surface. When the sun goes on the surface of the lake, he likes the, the view of seeing this uh, beautiful scene. Okay, I'd also like to run a wildlife park close to the hotel. Okay, I would I wouldn't charge admission to the park because I don't think enjoying nature should be activity. Should be what? Yes, should be commercial. So he does he doesn't want people to pay uh, money for uh, uh, for the nature. Okay, so he's. Uh, also, uh, next, however, I'd limit the number of people who could ent enter the park each day, as too many visitors would disturb the, the last one is ecosystem. The ecosystem of, of the uh, nature means himayat al or ihtimam bil in general. Okay, now we have uh, some uh, comprehension questions also. Read, uh, where does the writer live? In the, in, for this uh, exercise, he lives in a beautiful area in Panama. Okay, next. What kind of hotel does the writer want to open? What is the, the hotel that he wants to open? He wants to open a small friendly hotel. How much would the writer charge for admission to the wildlife park? The writer sh uh, wouldn't charge any uh, for admission because according to him, when you, when you uh, want to see the nature, uh, you don't need to pay money for that. Okay, the last question of today is exercise B on the same page, page 35. Uh, it is true or false sentences. Uh, now read the questions and answer true or false. Capsule hotel hotels are popular in Japan. Are they? Yes, they are. Next, guests take a boat uh, to Joel's undersea lodge. Do they take boat or dive? No, they dive. So that, that, that statement here is false. So the right answer is guest scuba dive to Jules Undersea Lodge. Okay, next, number three. Jules uh, um, Undersea Lodge has small square windows. Are they square and are they small? No, they are not uh, square and they're not small. The right answer is it has large circular windows. Circular windows means the area. Next, number four. The Kakutunen Hotel gives guests the opportunity to explore the rain forest canopy. canopy. Okay, that's false. Okay, the Aru Amazon, it's not the Kakutunen Hotel. It's the Aru Amazon, the one that uh, gives guests the opportunity to explore the rain forest canopy. Okay. Next, number five. Capsule hotels provide an expensive alternative to traditional hotels. It's true. And the last uh, one is number six here. Guests. Uh, at the Aero Amazon uh, Tower Hotel have a negative effect on the rainforest ecotism? No, they have a positive effect. Why? Because they leave the rainforest ecosystem undisturbed. Okay? And uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much. And inshallah, see you in our next episode. Goodbye for now. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.